much of chemistry is either making stuff or finding out what stuff is made out of. Now, the latter case can involve many different techniques which complete the picture, but one of those techniques is calculating the empirical formula. The empirical formula is just the simplest atomic ratio between each of the elements of a molecule or a compound. In the case of benzene, you've got C6H6, which has six of each element, so it's roughly one is to one. Knowing that, you can reduce that formula down to an empirical formula of CH. In the lab, we can collect data on these ratios. We can decompose the substance using either heat or electricity or a specific reaction and then use specific tailor-made reaction techniques to collect specific elements and weigh these amounts. From these masses we can deduce the masses of each component element, which in turn enables us to calculate the ratios of elements in our original unknown substance. From this magnesium oxide experiment, we know that the magnesium must be combusting with oxygen if it is a combustion reaction. Therefore our product must contain oxygen. And we also know that from conservation of matter, that the amount of magnesium we started off with must still be there in our product after we are finished. So a quick subtraction between our product amount and our initial reactant amounts, we can find out how much oxygen there is by grams. Now that we have a number of grams of our stuff, we can do a quick calculation and convert this into number of moles. And we do this because each element weighs differently. It has a different density. So the only way to compare our ratios in our molecule is actually to compare by numbers, and the way we do this is using moles. Converting our masses, we get this, which when simplified becomes one is to one. Now this confirms the theoretical empirical formula for magnesium oxide, which should be MgO.